What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the best John Collins build. Now John Collins is an exciting young forward that plays for the Atlanta Hawks. The first piece acquired by the Hawks in the post Horford and Bud Ball era, Collins is an athletic big who plays above the rim and is also a great shot blocker. Notice I didn't say defender because he's not a particularly good defender. However, his floor spacing ability is what makes him a great pairing with Clint Capella, who the Hawks acquired this past season, who is a great defender. With Capella and Collins and Trey Young at the point, three of their starting positions are solidified. Kevin Herter, Cam Reddish, and DeAndre Hunter are all still young and coming into their games, but the rumor mill has the Hawks trying to move up from the sixth pick to draft hometown guy Anthony Edwards. So maybe one of those three gets moved to acquire Edwards and try to take that leap and get back into the playoffs. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be power forward, handedness doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 20 because that's the number that John Collins wears. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the more blue and green pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the speed and vert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 88. Bring your driving layup up to a 77. Bring your driving dunk up to a 78. Bring your standing dunk up to an 83. And bring your post hook up to a 72. And that's going to give you 19 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring your mid-range shot up to a 72, max it out. Max out your three-point shot. Bring your free throw up to an 83. Bring your post fade up to a 75. And that's going to give you 16 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to max out your ball handle and bring your post moves up to a 46. And that's not going to give you any additional playmaking badges. But for defense and rebounding, you're going to max out your interior defense, bring your block up to the max, max out your offensive rebound, and max out your defensive rebound. And that's going to give you six defense and rebounding badges. So 19 finishing, 16 shooting, one playmaking, and six defense and rebounding badges is a total of 42 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with the fine. Height is going to be 6'9". Weight is going to be 230 pounds. It's close. His weight is actually 235 pounds. And for the wingspan, you're going to use one of two wingspans, either 88 inches or 90 inches. And the difference is basically, do you want the pro contact and elite contact dunks, or do you just want the pro contact dunks? At 88, you're a better shooter, and you only get the pro contact dunks. At 90, you get the pro and elite contact dunks, but you're not as good of a shooter. Uh, for me, I'm just going to go with 90 inches. So at 99 overall, if you chose the 90 inch option, you're gonna have a close shot of 94, you'll have an 81 driving layup, an 85 driving dunk, and a 96 standing dunk with a 78 post hook. For your shooting stats, you have a 74 mid-range shot, a 71 three-point shot, an 87 free throw, and a 78 post fade. For your playmaking, you have a 65 ball handle and a 50 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you have a 72 interior defense, an 81 block, a 74 offensive rebound, and an 81 defensive rebound. Your physical is at 99 overall with the gym rat badge would be 74 for speed, 73 for acceleration, 83 for vert, and 63 for strength. For the takeover, you could either go with the rim protector takeover or the slasher takeover, or kind of the sharpshooter takeover. I'm just gonna go with the slasher takeover. And the build is complete and you have built an interior finisher, shades of John Collins, Tom Chambers, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put contact finisher on gold, fast break finisher on gold, lob city finisher on bronze, pick and roll on gold, put back boss on gold, showtime on gold, and slither your finisher on gold. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on gold, flexible release on gold, hot zone hunter on gold, and pick and popper on gold with range extender on gold and slippery off ball on bronze. For your one playmaking badge, you're gonna put it on downhill. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put box on silver, pogo stick on bronze, rebound chaser on silver, and worm on bronze. All right, everyone, this has been the best John Collins build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do on the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. 
I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to make that build for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.